So the engine's got a little bit of a tick to it, and I think it's coming from this area. So I'm going to let it cool down overnight, and I'm going to adjust the valves in the morning. Hear that? Just that loud tick, tick, tick. So I'm going to see if I can get that quieted down. So tomorrow we'll take a shot at that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I found the source of that ticking sound. This is cylinder one, and uh, the engine's still warm. And uh, I'm just grabbing my feeler gauge. I usually set these around 26. And uh, with a 26 gauge, man, it's just sailing under there. It's just, it's not even close. So I'm going to let this thing cool down all the way, reset it. And there's got to be a lot of room to tighten this up, a couple thou probably. And I think I'll have the ticking sound under control. I've let it cool down overnight, so it is completely cool. This is a 26 thou feeler gauge, and as you can see, there's a lot of wiggle there. So it needs to be adjusted, so I'm going to go ahead and lash this one to 26. This is the intake. I'll, I'll check the exhaust as well. Uh, it, it feels pretty good, but I'll check them both. So we'll get those set to 26 and put the cover back on, and we'll fire it up and see if the ticking sound goes away. Made a quick check of the lash down the whole bay. Tweaked some, just a little bit. I mean, probably more this difference from driving it a little bit, but uh, you know, maybe a little bit of a turn. But yeah, this number one intake needed quite an adjustment. In fact, I needed to adjust it just a little bit more. So we're going to put the cover back on, fire it back up, and see if the sound gets better. Hopefully we've got it, got it down quiet. I mean, these are uh, flat tap it solid lifters so uh, they will make a little bit of ticking you know 26 thou lash cold they they make a little tick cold but not the not as loud as this one was going so we'll put the cover on see how she sounds of course i had to take a moment before i put everything back together again clean up the valve cover those chrome covers look so good on avani engines and just while i had it out a lot easier to get at it so got her all tidied up Everything's all back together, so we will give it a start and see if the ticking sound goes away. This will also be our first cold start with the uh, fuel filter in and it running just off the fuel in the tank. So we'll hop in, hook the battery up, and give her a start. So the driver's side is relashed. Had to relash number one intake a little more, so we're going to see if we've got the ticking improved even more. I think we got it. Give her a little rev. Yep, that was the problem. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> 